Well, here we are, the front of the house, on a nice, bright, not particularly blue day. This is the front street curb. This is a retaining wall of sorts. Landscape timbers aren't really a retaining wall. If a retaining wall is far enough away, is twice its height from the foundation, then this is not part of the inspection. Okay. Uh, it's beyond the scope. This part is. As a fire extinguisher, you might want to call your insurance company to do this. And, and the parkway sidewalk, this is an analog meter. And if we look inside of here, what we notice, okay, that's the city's valve right there, or the water company's valve, the utility valve. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off, it's on. Okay, you shouldn't have to deal with that normally. This red sprocket right here, that's called, that's your flow indicator. Some people call it a cheater wheel or a cheater paddle. Call it what you will, but it's very sensitive. If that's moving, then water's moving. You have a leaky flapper in your commode or somebody washing their hands or doing some other business, and then this, this wheel will move. If you think that you've got a leak in your system, that's why they call it a cheater paddle because the utility meter reader will come out here and he'll look at that and he'll say, I don't know where you're losing your water, but it's not getting past here. And then um, that's how they tell. And that's how you tell too, you know, if, if you have one of these handy dandy keys. If you have one of these handy dandy keys. Okay, moving up to the front of the house. Now we're looking for the main water shutoff valve to the house. And that valve is the one that is closest to the faucet here. Closest to the faucet. And this box, and it's like the same same as the other one. Parallel is on. Parallel is on. Perpendicular is off. It's on. Um, this box should be excavated some. But lined with gravel. It should be lined with gravel. Okay. This is the closest faucet. To the meter we're looking between 40 and 80 psi <laughs> we're getting none you don't work okay is that what's happening so the faucet was on for an exterior faucet it's inoperable let's go hunt for some water Go hunt for some water. We're, we're hunting for other things too. We're hunting for other things too. This is the gas meter into the house. This is where it enters the house. So you have to go to the meter to turn the gas off in case of an emergency. On sprinkler head should not be closer than 12 inches to the structure. Be closer than 12 inches to the structure. This lawn speaker cap is missing. And since we're moving around here a little bit, this is the main water shutoff valve to the lawn sprinkler system. And these are the isolation valves to the check valve. And this box should be excavated and lined with gravel to keep it from filling up with dirt like it has. You should be able to reach around it and service it or not maybe you should be able to but um, or maybe but uh, service technicians should be able to service it that also tells us that it hasn't been serviced in a year okay coming along here this valve does not have an anti-siphon device it does not have a backflow device let's hope it works that was just kind of a leap of faith there uh, remember between 40 and 80 and we're getting about 70 about 70 psi that's good i have not found water clean out valves that's the clothes dryer vent i have not found water clean out valves drain sewer clean outs for the system. If I find them later, it'll be in another video. 
So what did we learn? We learned the meters by the street. We learned that we got 70 PSI. We learned that we do not have an anti-siphon device on this side, on the west side of the house. We learned that the front exterior bib faucet doesn't work. We learned that. We learned that our lawn sprinkler heads are closer than 12 inches to the house. We learned that our gas meter's in the alley and comes in on that side over there. We learned that our check valves haven't been serviced in the last year and the box should be excavated. And, uh, did I mention this already? We learned that this guy doesn't work. That faucet does not work.